Hey guys, this week there's a bonus video. In today's video, I want to tell you all about some helpful tips if you've had laser eye surgery. So first and foremost, you definitely want to have someone help you out for the first day or two post-operatively. So make sure you plan for that. Someone will have to drive you home as well as someone's going to have to help you find your eye medication when your eyes are sore and potentially help you put them in. That's really important. Also, equally as important is following the schedule of drops. So this is my schedule of the drops and uh, I followed it religiously. So very, very important to get the drops in on time. Don't wait, you know, till you're in tremendous pain before you, um, you know, take your pain medication or put in those eye drops. Before surgery, about a month before, I actually purchased some lubricating eye drops, Sustain Ultra, and I practiced putting in the eye drops in my eyes twice a day. Sustain is a, uh, a lubricating eye drop, and I thought that, you know, best to go into the surgery with some really hydrated corneas. So I advise strongly that you learn how to put in eye drops before the surgery, because you're gonna be doing a lot of eye drops after the surgery. So uh, I chose to just use, you know, a lubricating eye drop like Sustain twice a day, uh, just to get used to the whole idea of medicating my eyeballs. And the added benefit was that my eyes were hydrated prior to surgery. Important during the surgery process as well is to drink lots of water and maintain your hydration. Certainly, you know, everything heals better when you're not dehydrated. So keeping up with drinking water, avoiding tea, coffee, and pop, uh, is helpful. So during that surgery time, I, uh, I drank lots of water and I'm still trying to keep up the habit as well. I had read online that uh, omega-3 fatty acids were helpful uh, during the recovery uh, of the corneas and in terms of uh, reducing inflammation. Obviously don't start anything unless it's approved by your physician when you're doing your eye surgery. But I started um, omega-3 fish oils, you can see that. Um, once a day prior to the surgery and throughout uh, and it's a good part of your diet anyways but certainly make sure with your healthcare professional that you're okay to start something like that prior to this surgery. Post-operatively you know you may experience some pain and things I found really helpful in addition to my prescribed pain medication was to use both cold and warm uh, to soothe my eyes. So the first few days after surgery, I found these ice packs to be really helpful. You can get these at the local drugstore and they just go in your fridge and you can just gently lay them on the surface uh, of your eyes. I mean, not pushing down on them, obviously, because you do not want to rub your eyes during the post-operative period and for a long time after, because you will damage your surgery. But if you put these on, they certainly feel very, very soothing. And I use that for the first few days after the surgery. Another thing I found helpful post-operatively, you know, a few days beyond, if my eyes felt tired or scratchy or just generally kind of goopy from all the eye drops, I used a washcloth and I had some warm water on it and I would just lay it across my forehead and my eyes. And I found that extremely soothing because um, sometimes your eyes just feel sort of scratchy um, and the cold doesn't necessarily make it feel better, but I found the warmth did. So a very clean towel, certainly you want to change it and wash it frequently. Um, and that sometimes I would use to just gently kind of remove the eye drops. The Sustain I found did leave a lot of sticky residue on my eyelids. So I don't know um, if you're being prescribed a lubricating eye drop after your surgery, most likely you are, but some of them can be very thick and can cause the crusting on your eyelashes. So I definitely would recommend, you know, a soothing hot cloth uh, and just sort of delicately using it to kind of clean your eyelashes because um, that caked stuff can be very irritating uh, on your eyelids. When you're cleared to begin showering or bathing again, what I found helpful was using Johnson & Johnson's uh, No Tears Baby Shampoo. I found that really helpful because um, you certainly do not want to get soap in your eyes and in the beginning you can't even get water in your eyes. Um, so I found that when I was cleared to have my shower again, um, I used the Johnson & Johnson's tearless shampoo. That way if by accident something got in my eyes, it did not feel like my eyes were on fire. <laughs> so uh, that was really helpful. I still continue to use it as I am healing, um, especially around my face. 
when going outside or in the first few days inside, you definitely want to wear some trendy sunglasses. Um, you know, they often give you the sunglasses at the laser eye surgery center. They may not be as fashionable as you'd hoped, but they're there for a reason. Wear them. Certainly there's a lot of eye sensitivity to the light in the first month following surgery, sometimes a bit longer. I still have a bit of light sensitivity here uh, at the almost approaching the third week uh, after my surgery. Uh, but uh, you know, I will sometimes wear them inside if I'm at a bright computer screen or if it's a really sunny day out, uh, important to wear them. Also um, for my PRK surgery, I was advised to wear the sunglasses outside for six months, even on cloudy days to avoid ultraviolet ray damage to my new uh, surface of my eye, the new corneas. I think I'll also keep that up as a habit as well because it's really important to protect your eyes from ultraviolet rays as well as your skin as well. Another important consideration is to consider the time of year where you're getting your surgery done. I had my surgery done here in the winter time and I find it tremendously bright outside. The, between the reflection off the snow and the cloudy days or the bright sunny days, I find the light intensity really, really strong and that, that made for a challenging um, you know, bit of the recovery period. So I'm not sure, I know some people that have had it done in the summertime and may not have had all that glare from the snow, obviously. You've got just nice green grass and trees, so uh, you may want to consider having the procedure done uh, when there's not so much um, you know, bright snow reflecting in your eyes with the sunshine. I find those days still particularly difficult and I wear very darkly tinted sunglasses outside on those days to avoid strain to my eyes. During the early period of the recovery, what you want to do is also um, avoid you know, using computers for the prescribed uh, amount of time. And then when you're allowed to use the computers, I found it helpful to enlarge the font, also dim the monitor so that it's not very bright shining in your face. I found it really difficult, bright monitor, and when the font was really small, especially when I was experiencing a lot of the ghosting or lack of focus. So enlarging the font um, as large as you can to make you feel comfortable is also uh, really helpful during the recovery period. And of course, most importantly, follow all the directions given to you by your eye doctor. Um, I'm just giving you some tips that help me through my procedure. By no means am I a replacement for what they say. This is just sort of what I did and what was okay with them uh, during my recovery period. So certainly they're the go-to. If you feel that there's anything that you need to know about, they're there to help you out. And uh, you know, these are just some helpful tips that I found and uh, I hope they help you out too if you're okay to, to proceed with these tips. All right guys, have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.